Hello and welcome fans and friends, my name is 8 Ben, and today I'm going to bring you my uh, basic review of Steep. I haven't actually finished it yet, but I thought I um, should probably give my impressions close to release of uh, the game. Uh, I have played through probably a majority of the game, and uh, I've written down a review for me to read off, so this is going to be a scripted video. And by the way, uh, I need to, sh to tell you that I've actually got a new camera now, it's actually a webcam. I got it a lot cheaper than it usually is off uh, Amazon. It's not sponsored. This is the uh, Logitech um, C920, and it's actually very decent. And uh, it's going to make it a lot easier for me to make my videos. Because if you actually didn't know, I actually use uh, my Nikon camera. Uh, actually, I'll just show it to you quickly. This is my Nikon camera, and this is the one I usually use to record my videos. Um, but today I'm not going to use my webcam instead. So. I'm probably going to be using the Nikon uh, for uh, the type of review I did, um, not review, but like the video I did last time, which was um, my sealed games collection. But anyway, on to the steep review, because I don't want to keep it here. So, I've been aware that Ubisoft are working on a brand new extreme snow, snow sports game uh, since they announced it at E3 this year. I was very excited for this game, and I've been a huge fan of snow sports games for over uh, 10 years. I don't know if I should mention this, but I was one of the participants of the state beta. I played two phases of the beta and missed out on the last one as my PS4 was being repaired, so I can't give my impressions of the game uh, because um, I was able to play it and see if it was actually more finished at that state. I was sold before playing the game anyway, as I had a hunch that I would, it would meet my uh, expectations, and it did. It actually surpassed them. Now for the actual review, and mind, I'm still playing the game and I'm probably close to finishing it. Steep, the base game, provides a variety of extreme snow sports. Snowboarding, wingsuit, paragliding and skiing. These can all be played in first person mode or third person mode. The first person mode is the, probably the most immersive mode I've ever played in any game to the point that it's disorientating, like it would be if you can move your eyes in real life. The reason for that is because you look for the lens of the GoPro. It's still playable but more difficult than just playing in first person mode. As for each of the sports, they all mostly control differently. Snowboarding is standard, it can be very slow if you don't keep up your speed while trying to do tricks in small spaces and tricks feel limited in comparison to skiing. Skiing is the easiest to control and it gives you the most control over the direction of the snow. Tricks can be challenging to pull off but once you master it, it feel feels great. Wingsuit is more fun in the hot air balloon sections and is very challenging in diagonal based missions. If you're going for gold, you're going to have to put in a bit of practice and it's totally doable with enough practice, but some gold medals will truly test your limits. It may be the hardest thing, or sorry, not the hardest thing, but the hardest to perfect the control of the uh, paraglide. Um, but the view is stunning no matter what time of the day. Um, like The whole scale of the mountain is, is huge, it really is. Um, um, d doing well in each mission rewards you with new equipment and, and being able to access new areas. Although some equipment is actually you have to buy it um, for in-game credit or actually buying credit on the PlayStation Store for this game. I'm not actually going to buy any of that credit uh, in real money. Uh, it's not required for you to do so either. Um, you can unlock certain equipment by doing re required tasks in certain missions. So like I got the Moonlight Pack. And uh, you actually have to unlock all the glowing equipment, which I find a bit strange. I thought that would have been there from the start, but no, you have to beat it. Beat the missions with a gold medal or silver medal, depending on what type of equipment you're looking for. Uh, the sound engineering is incredible. Everything you do triggers a sound like the clanging of your equipment and the footsteps in the snow. The snow physics can be a little strange at times, so if you, you're just snowboarding, it looks normal, but going backwards on skis makes the poles that you hold dig through the snow like there's no force behind them. I c it can be difficult to turn around on skis as well, which a lot of snowboarding games have that problem. Certain floors will get you stuck at times, but not anywhere with snow. I came across another strange glitch when I restarted at a, at a Gold Rush Red Bull starting post. I was standing on top of it, and it did this every time I restarted pressing triangle. Another a gripe I have because I bought the special edition with the Moonlight Pack was the sun announcement before release that Steep would have a season pass for additional content, which means you have to pay extra. 
I paid 55 points or 54.99 for a game which many people complain isn't a proper game. It's more like a simulator in a way. Uh, in a way, I, I agree. But for now, I enjoy the base game for this, the whole scale of uh, the mountain being able to explore it on one go for very impressive. Uh, it is very impressive to be able to explore the whole mountain in one go because there's like basically no loading screens in the game apart from whenever you go into mountain view. Uh, the only things that are missing are, I feel, underground caverns and rails for, for uh, snowboarders and skiers to grind on, but I've had a lot of fun with what we currently have. It would be nice if we had those things in the future in future updates. Something else I would like to come in the future is being able to ice skate, if not speed skating, and being able to use ice picks to climb up mountains if they are too steep to walk up. I heard that we're getting sledges and possibly snowmobiles as well, but don't take my word as gospel. I ju I've just uh, heard that we're getting, we're probably going to get sledges at least, um, as a possibility for uh, snowmobiles because they say it's a physics based engine, they can add anything in there, it doesn't really matter what it is. Um, so basically that's my thoughts on Steep, if I had to sum it up with an overall review. I would give it a 8.5 out of 10. It's a very fun game that could be hit or miss for some. I hope that you liked what you heard and that you end up enjoying the game as much as I do while knowing what's in store for those that like to explore a huge mind, uh, open world in the snow. As always, like, comment and subscribe, but only do that if you want to.